Hey there, this is Joe Techie. This is a video review of the new Logitech UltraPen keyboard folio for the iPad mini. First gen, second gen, which will be the one with the retina display and I have a strong suspicion that it will fit the third gen as well, the one with the new thumbprint sensor, since they're all the same exact form factor. So this is going to be an unboxing and review of this keyboard case. And let's take a quick look right off the bat. So my first impression is that even though they're calling it the Ultra Thrin Keyboard Folio, again for the Mini, uh, check out another review that I've done on the Logitech Type Plus. It is exactly like this one, except this is the smaller version. So I'm not really sure why they called it the Ultra Thin Keyboard Folio rather than the Type Plus Mini or something like that. But either way, uh, this looks looks pretty decent. So looking at the back here, it is thin and light. It's a full keyboard cover case. And we're just going to go ahead and crack it open so we can take a look for the look at it. Now Logitechs have been well known for their quality keyboards. Okay, so here's the actual keyboard itself. And it's got some styrofoam packing material here. Let's go ahead and set that in here. And we have the literature, which is taped down. And then we have the charging cable in the box. Okay, so let me go ahead and just set that aside for now. Okay, so here we have the actual case. And let's take a look here. So right off the bat, looks like we do have a full keyboard here. Naturally, this is gonna be a small keyboard because the iPad mini is much smaller than a standard say, iPad or even a, a laptop or netbook. So the keys are naturally gonna be a little bit smaller and a little bit closer together than your standard keyboard. So it may take a little getting used to for those that, that have big fingers like me. Although I have typed on some of these before and it is fairly easy to get applicated to them if you do type on it often. So let's go ahead and present the iPad here so we can have an idea of what, what we're looking at. So the way this works is it will slide up into this hinge this little, little area here. Okay, and it's actually pressed in very nicely. So notice I can wiggle it around and it actually stays, stays in place. It's not coming out. So that's a pretty good thing. Okay, and it is, when I prop it up, it is magnetized. So that's actually pretty neat as well. All right, so let me go ahead and turn this thing on. Okay, looks like we've got a little green light that just lit up there. And now we have a blue blinking light. I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to pair this up. Let's see if it requires me to type in. Okay, look, looks like I found it already. Making the pairing process quite simple in this case. Okay, and it is currently paired. So let's go ahead and do a quick test here for typing purposes. Oops, I accidentally hit the home button there. Okay, so these keys, again, that's one of the things about these keyboards is the keys are so close together, you have to definitely be careful. Like I accidentally hit the home button rather than the one, so that's okay. I just have to get used to that. Now it looks like some of the keys are smaller. So for example, the colon and semicolon and the quote and the apostrophe keys are much smaller. Of course, you have your bracket keys as well and your braces, slash and backslash. Those keys are, are gonna be a little bit smaller than typical. And of course, because you have such a small package, they had to basically share the function keys across the top row with the numbers. So that, you know, that could be a downside for some and maybe not for others, it's total preference. I personally like to have the function keys on a dedicated row, but of course this is a small package, so it's very difficult to fit all of that into its own separate row because of how small this keyboard package is. So closing it on up, this is magnetized. 
So what happens is it, it does have a smart cover feature, so it actually wakes the iPad up. The material on the outside here is much kind of like a rubbery vinyl, synthetic vinyl feel. And it feels quite nice. You can actually see there's pretty much no texture, but it does give you some good substance to grab onto. Okay, you do have all of the cutouts where, where it's needed. So for example, you have the one here for the microphone and the camera. And you do have access to your volume buttons and your, your sleep buttons here. Of course, you're charging in your speaker ports down at the bottom. So all in all, this is very light and it feels very nice. I'd say that, that Logitech has definitely continued on with their brand of, of good quality keyboards. Uh, I would rate this pretty high in terms of quality and, and looks. It is quite uh, quite neat. As far as the mini goes, this is a pretty small package. So it, it's basically something meant to be portable and handy. And given the fact that sometimes you may want to just have this in your hand, you could literally just slide it right back out. Okay, just like that. You just pop it in and out and you slide it back in. And there it is. So you now have different modes that you can use. So I could fold this over like that and I have basically what's called book mode, so to speak. Okay. Uh, I don't think, I mean, you could hold it like this, except I'm noticing that I can press the key. So I probably wouldn't recommend holding it like this. If you wanted to do it in book mode, I'd it'd probably be better to do this. So that way you're actually not pressing on the keys. Okay. So, uh, I think that's it. Basically for now, this is uh, again, this pretty, pretty decent case. I like it. It's very nice for, uh, for an iPad mini. And I would rate this fairly high. Hopefully you found this useful. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for future updates. Going to be coming out with some other videos here very soon of some other keyboard products for the iPad Air 2 and also for the mini as they come along. Thanks for watching and have a great one. Joe Techie out.